What up, sports fans? I'm Paulo Camacho, and this is the Macho Sports Report, where I talk to you about the sports stories that matter to me, and hopefully, matter to you. All right, people. We're a couple of weeks into the new year, so let's take stock in my favorite baseball team, the three-time World Series champions, the San Francisco Giants. With their fan fest coming up in a little more than a month, which I hope to attend, by the way, allow me to review the goings-on since I last talked about the orange and black. Yes? Okay, here we go. With the need for an outfielder flashing in the franchise's face like a busted neon light, the Giants targeted a number of options. After Alex Gordon signed back with the Royals and Jason Hayward went to the north side of Chicago, the Gigantes settled on former national center fielder Denard Span. He probably came at a discount due to concerns over a bum hip, but he's top 300 in batting average the past two seasons and tallied a career high 184 hits in 2014. Hell, by conservative standards, Span was on pace for 175 hits last season. And for a slap happy team like the Giants, he's just what the doctor ordered. Plus, with a 993 fielding percentage, he's reliable at both left and center field. <laughs> With Span signing, the Giants should be done with free agency. Emphasis on should, considering the $251 million they spent on Span, Jeff Samarja, and Johnny Cueto. However, keep an eye on free agents in left field. I heard the market on guys like Yoannis Cespedes and Justin Upton might take a free fall. And if it drops to a price the Giants like, they could pounce on one for a discount. And if that's the case, I say why not? I'm sure Cespedes would like to come back to the Bay Area on perhaps a prove-it deal. Maybe a one-year flyer before he hits the free agent market again. Just saying. <laughs> Meanwhile, Brandon Belt and George Contos are staring arbitration in the face. The 27-year-old first baseman in Belt, integral in two World Series titles, is apparently pretty far apart with the team in terms of salary figures. The Giants offered $5.3 million, while Belt countered with a much higher $7.5 million. For those keeping score at home, that's a $2.2 million gap, up from last year's $1.5 million. Meanwhile, Contos was offered $835,000 in arbitration, while the relief pitcher countered with a $1.35 million contract. That's a mild gap, and it's certainly doable to meet in the middle. In any case, both contracts will likely be handled before March. But if Belt's negotiations drag on, one wonders what the Giants' next move will be. Main point, there's no need to panic about Belt. For now. So, we caught up? What do you think about the arbitration negotiations with Belt and Contos? What do you think about the deal for Span? What about the possibility of landing a marquee left fielder free agent? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm Paulo Camacho, and this has been the Macho Sports Report. Peace out, sports fans!